Hey everyone, hope you all are well. Today's tutorial is showing you how to create this spotlight smoky eye. It's unlike others that I've created before in the sense that it's not as defined and I've used some more neutral colours and that makes it that bit more wearable. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. To begin, I'm taking an eyeshadow primer and the main aim of this is to prep the eye area for what comes next. It's going to help prevent the natural oils that your eyes produce from breaking down your eyeshadow throughout the day. I'm taking an extra step today and applying an eyeshadow base. I'm using a brown base and this will help intensify the colour of the eyeshadows that we place down next. As it is a cream product, you can use the warmth of your fingers to effectively blend out the base or you can take a brush to soften the edges. Now I'm taking a white eyeshadow and using this to highlight underneath the brow area. As I am highlighting the entire length of the brow, it'll give a sharper, more defined appearance to the brows too. I'm using this warm brown shade as my transition colour and applying it into the crease of the eye. Transitional colours don't have to be browns or earthy toned shades, I've just chosen a brown because that's the colour scheme that we're working with today. Moving on to a dark brown eyeshadow now, I'm going to pat this all over the eyelid. Then I'm going to use a fluffy blending brush with no product on it and I'm going to blend the edge of that brown so that it fades nicely into our transition colour. I always extend my shadow out towards the end of my brow. If you have trouble doing that, place your brush on the corner of your nose, line it up with the corner of your eye and brow. Use that as a guide then and you can either put a piece of tape down or you can freehand it like I am. I'm just drawing the line and then ensuring I don't blend past that point. Now all I'm doing is going back to repeat the application of the transition and the lid colour just to intensify them a little bit more before we move on to the next step. To add some definition, I am taking a black eyeshadow on a small brush to add some detail. I am starting on the outer third of the eye and then sweeping the colour across into the crease. I am then going to lightly pat it on the inner third of the eye as well and this is going to create the border for the spotlight. As always, once you've applied eyeshadow, you need to ensure that it blends well with the other colours. So take your fluffy blending brush again and just buff along those edges. So I wanted to add a touch more warmth to the eye, so I'm taking a richer brown and applying it with a very light hand above the dark brown eyeshadow. So now for the spotlight, I'm applying a light shimmery brown to the centre of the eye and this shadow used in this way would look fantastic wet, it would give the look that really nice extra pop. Once you've applied the colour to the centre of the lid, be sure to blend around the edges so that there's a smooth fade between the shadows. So now I'm applying a winged eyeliner and I'm not going to go into too much detail because I have a full tutorial on that which I have received fantastic feedback on so thanks so much. Um, I'm just creating a thin line and winging it out on the outer corner. I've had a lot of comments about doing a tutorial on lash application. Now I apply mine the same way that everybody else does on YouTube, but if I can come up with an easy, unique way of applying them, like I did with the eyeliner, I'll certainly do a tutorial on it. The final steps I'm going to take are to smudge the shadows along the lower lash line. Firstly I'm taking that dark brown lid colour and applying it on the outer corner.
I want to brighten the eyes up a bit so I'm using a shimmery shade around the tear duct and on the inner half of the eye as well right up to meet that brown. Lastly for the shadows I am using the black to further define the lash line. So I've kept the darkness of the eyeshadows to the outer corner of the eye and I'm doing the same now with regard to eyeliner so I'm only applying it halfway across the waterline. All you have to do then is to apply a couple of coats of your favourite mascara to your top and bottom lashes and then that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.